Well, you got that second one now, the first one at home. Yeah, two games you want to go on. Same game plan for tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. It's just it's win the day. You know, we talked about this in Lancaster, and it's kind of been our mantra through the second half. It's you know win the day. You know, if we take care of business today, you know tomorrow becomes a little bit brighter. Um, you know, especially coming back here home, knowing it's a three-game series. And you know, again, I think that uh, you know it's just continuing to you know reinforce that message to our guys, taking focus on our process, and being able to go out there and just enjoy it. You know, albeit that there's a lot of you know stress that's involved in the game, uh, but we got to be able to enjoy it. That, that's really what all the work and all the effort guys have done in the off season. This, this it leads to this point, and, and our guys need to be able to enjoy that. Your pitching is phenomenal. Absolutely, I mean, start to finish. I mean, obviously it helps having you know Dennis Santana and uh, and Yimmy here, but uh, you know for me, who said it was was fantastic. I mean that that that's about it, as good of a game plan and good of stuff and good of pace that I've seen him, especially coming from a 19 year old that you know comes up here into the later part of the season and, and to be able to do that against a very good Lancaster ball club, uh, it was very special to watch. Uh, last inning, Kristen uh, makes an incredibly deep uh, snag and throw. Mm -hmm. uh, He's, he seems to have just really found that uh, and, he's, and he's just really bringing it all together now. What do you attribute that to? Just tremendous success. Oh, it, it's it's all preparation. You know, it starts with our staff. It starts with uh, you know Petey Montero that works with the infielders. You know, it starts with uh, you know Justin with the hitters, Graham and Anthony being able to do all of our advance work, Connor with the pitchers. You know, you are athletic trainer keeping guys healthy. Yeah, making sure guys are ready to go. You know, on a daily basis. I mean, it's everyone. It's everyone rowing the boat in the same direction. And um, you know, really, it's it's been fun to watch him. You know, kind of find his home over there at third base. I know we we're bouncing around a little bit the first part of the year because we had a guy named Ryland Bannon that was uh, playing for us and. You know, that, that's what makes my job tough, is I have to be able to find, you know, at bats and innings for guys and, you know, being able to bounce guys around and just, again, shows their versatility. We need that in L.A. and uh, it only, it's only going to help their careers as they progress. Each day it seems to be somebody else. Today was all Mars. I got that, got that long <laughs> I mean, uh, it, it's got to feel gratifying for you to, to go through this and see these kids. Uh, it's a team win. I mean, it just seems like it's a team win. It's somebody else. It's totally different every day. Oh yeah, and, and, and again, I think it goes back to just the culture we try to create here. You know, it's it's all of us together, and, and that's one of the words that uh, it has been a focal point for us throughout the season. Is no matter what happens, we got to do it together. And we got to fight for one another. You know, we got to be able to you know sacrifice for one another. And, and again, I think that when you see guys come up and it's a different guy every single night, it just it further you know galvanizes just the belief that we have as a coaching staff and the belief that we have as a team. One more to go. <laughs> hey, win, win the day. That's all you got to win, win the day. day. Just so, more day. Who, who is uh, slated to pitch for you tomorrow? It'll be Max Gambo. We start okay. first tomorrow. The righty? Yeah, right-hander. And then are you facing a righty or a lefty? Do you know? I have no idea yet. We're okay. still waiting for, for Lancaster to tell us who we're going to face tomorrow. So okay. we'll find that out. Very good. If it's anything, you know, like, you know, history, it's always going to be, you know, 1231 in the morning, and then we'll, you know, lose some sleep and start game planning. When uh, when will Curry be available again? Um, not not quite sure. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, we're, we're still waiting to uh, just see how he re you know, rebounds. I think any time that you see a reliever go more than you know two innings, it's going to be a couple days before he's back available. And you know, it's it's going to be you know a lot of different people that will have a say on when he's available yeah. again. So you know, including Parker. So right. You know, we'll we'll just see what uh, you know our athletic training side and our performance side and what Park says, and uh, we'll go from there. Excellent. All right. Next coach. Awesome.